I think I got it. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to build a VR game in only 10 minutes. I'm not sure if we can do that, but we're going to try. As usual, all the links are in the description below. I'm not sure if we have links. Um, I probably published the thing to GitHub or something. Links will be in the description. Let's do this. Okay, let's go and see if we can build a game, a VR game in only 10 minutes. Before we start a timer, just go in and create the project. Let's call this game Catcher because that's what we're going to do. Okay, and let's let's see how we're doing. So that's a couple more seconds and then we hit create and then we go build the game. And here we go. 10 minutes. There we go. We create a new project. So I want to not be able to teleport. Oh, crap. I forgot something. Uh, we created the project. I need to shut this down. I need to open this and call npm install. Now I'm using my own template, which will be available in the description below the video. And now we need to open up Wonderland again. And the first minute is only opening the project. So basically it's building a game in nine minutes. Okay, and now we can go in and remove the teleportation. So let's do that because I don't want to be able to teleport. Um, there we go. In the manager. So what's going to happen? We need to catch a cube that is falling down. So we need to add a new mesh. And I want this cube to be red. So let's create a red material real quick. Material, let's clone the pink one. Duplicate. Scroll down. And let's rename this to a red. Let's go into the mesh. Let's take a cube. Let's select that new red material and let's make it actually red. So let's do this and let's make this one black. So it's nice and red. Now we need to add a script. Uh, we need to have a script to animate the box. So it's a box animator. We need to add this in a second to the bundle. Otherwise it doesn't work. So let's clone this line. Box animator. Save. Let's go. Uh, let's save this one real quick. Um, we need the speed. Let's do 10. We don't need the init. So let's remove these. Let's quickly go back to Wonderland. To the scene view. Um, we need to make this smaller. Let's do 0.3. Um, we need to have a collision. We can do A, A, B, B, I think. Oh, 0.3 and 0.3. That's the right size. Otherwise, the target won't work. And we need to add the box animator here. Let's go back to the code and make this actually work. So, on the start, let's add a, a, a variable for the mesh. We do this object get component uh, mesh because I want to hide it we do this dot m dot active is false uh, I also want to have a go method let's so if we do go we call this go method we set active to true we also need to give this a random position so let's do this dot object the uh, object uh, set translation world we need to give this an array of xyz so let's do um, let's do math random math random um, let's do minus three two three let's start 10 up and let's do only in front of us so let's do another math random uh, in front of us is minus random multiplied by three so this is spawning in front of us now when it's falling if this m dot active otherwise we don't need to animate it uh, let's grab the original position let p is equal to uh, this object get translation world and let's drop in an error this is not the most effective way of doing it but it's the easiest way uh let's p1 this is the y value it's going down so we need to decrease this 
But this speed speed is defined up here. Just did that. Multiply by delta time, so it's constant. And then say, well, if it's below, if it's P1 is less than zero, less than zero, we're going to remove this. This dot m dot active is false and then we need to set it back so we do this dot object dot set translation world and let's do that p again so this is falling down now i think this is okay now we need to have another script let's go back to one land let's add a box spawner let's remove all this oh before i forget it needs to be here box Spawner, save. Let's go back here. Uh, let's just do set interval. Um, let's do from the children. I think that's the quickest. So let's do let B for box. This object uh, children zero dot get component animator W B dot go so this would start it let's do every five seconds how would it win time two more minutes i think this should be possible let's go back here we need to go to the manager we need to add the box spawner that's it we need to go here we need to handle the uh, target so let's go back to the catcher uh let's do it right here let's do let target equals this object Object dot get component cursor target that's the one we need we have a target this one we can add a function to so we do when we release add uh up function i think it is and let's give this an arrow function and when we do this we do this dot m dot active is false we just disable it when we are done i think this is a little bit of a game already let me see if we've got something. Let's just run this in the browser. Let's see if we don't have any errors. So we can look around now. This should be spawning. There we go. Oh, it's falling down pretty fast. Okay, I think it's I think it's working. Let's check it out. We have one minute left. Let's test this in VR. Can we do that fast enough? I'm not sure. Let's do npm uh, run open quest, I think it is. There we go. You should be able to see the VR. It opened up. Let's go into VR. Do we see cubes coming from the sky? Oh, there we go. I think I got it. I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's behind me. That's not correct, but... Oh, we need to rotate. Ha! Huh. It's not in front of me. It's in the side of me. I screwed that up. Missed it. I think we did it. Do we have time left? 10 seconds! We have 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left! And we build a game. And that's... How you build a VR game in only 10 minutes. <laughs>